Hello everybody and welcome to 321 Sportscast, another edition of the Summer Series 2024. In studio today I have Christian LaCorey, formerly of the Merritt Island Mustang Bowling Team. How you doing Christian? Good, how are you? Good man. I appreciate you taking some time. I know you got to hop on a plane in a little while, you're headed to Detroit. But uh, thanks for coming by the studio today. Of course. All right, looking forward to popping off some questions about bowling. We're going to talk some bowling and then we're going to talk a little bit about some personal stuff and get to know you outside of the lanes, okay? So you're uh, committed, you're going to be heading to Savannah College of Art and Design, also known as SCAD. Tell us what it is about that school and why you chose to go there. Um, well, they're, um, they're currently ranked second in the country for bowling, and okay. then when they offered me a scholarship, I went up there on a visit, and it's just a beautiful area. Savannah is gorgeous, a lot of historic stuff, and a nice city, and the coaches are great, and some of my teammates I know personally, like before even going there, so it was just a good fit. Well, anyone that's going to watch this knows how beautiful Savannah is. I mean, it's just a gorgeous town, a lot of history, a lot of culture, those old buildings. And you told me something unique about that college and uh, explain what you told me off camera about the buildings being kind of spread out. Um, well, when they opened, when SCAD first got opened up, the lady that opened them, she took old abandoned buildings and she just kind of transformed them into classrooms and into stuff like that. So it's kind of just all around Savannah. Um, it's not really more, it's not really like just a big campus. It's yeah. just, you can, you walk, like you walk past like just normal buildings and stores just to get to a different, classroom old brick buildings hey be careful if you're walking down to that river street man that cobblestone that's a dangerous thing but you know what i love about savannah is the food man the food is just awesome around there we'll get into that in just a minute how old were you when you started bowling i was about 13. okay and why bowling what got you into bowling um well i would always watch it on tv and then i saw this guy jason belmonte and he threw it two-handed which was different from all the other guys i had seen and i thought it was super interesting so i tried it myself so for those of you who don't know, two, traditional bowling is one-handed, but they're whoosh, doing that, right? Yep. Um, you're throwing a big hook doing that, I'm assuming? That's yeah. why, okay. Um, so your favorite bowler is Jason Belmonte, where I'm gonna have to watch the next bowling match on ESPN and check him out. Yep. Uh, you said your current average is about 235, right? Yeah, on a, on a house shot, like in your normal league stuff, it's about 230, 235. And then in like tournaments where they put out like harder patterns, it's about 220. How many perfect games do you have? Perfect 300 games? I have four. What did it feel like when you got your first 300 game? Uh, yeah, that was about three and a half years ago. It was just on a morning, on a Saturday morning league, and I just, I'd never had it before, so that 12th shot, the ball gets a little heavy, and like you kind of- Were you nervous feeling, going with that 12th shot? Nervous, yeah. Do you feel like you got like the monkey off your back? Like you were good enough, obviously, but yeah. it's a matter of when you're gonna do it. Actually, the first time I shot 300, I shot another one two weeks later. Okay. So it kind of, once you get past that. You get that confidence. Once you get over the hump a little bit. And I'm sure once your college career progresses, you're going to come back, and the next time we see you, you're going to have like 50 of them or something like that. Um, what, is, what is one of the uh, strengths of your game? Uh, definitely my spare shooting is definitely, I would say, better than most high schoolers or better than most youth bowlers. It's a struggle of most people. Well, spares are what you score with, right? You can't miss. That's the can't miss singles and two pins and stuff like that. What about one of your weaknesses or something you got to work on as you move to the college level? Uh, definitely my ball speed a little bit. I throw it a little slower than most of those college kids do right now. Um, you got to work on the weights, man. I could that. That's what I'm saying. Get into get into gym. Um, what's one of the biggest moments of your career so far? I would say last year at the tournament I'm about to go to, okay. uh, that's how you qualify for Junior Team USA. So when I made that last year, it was pretty cool. So you qualified for the Team USA and you also said you've tapped into some pro events now, putting away some scholarship uh, money, right? Yeah, I've been bowling on the pro regional tour um, since last year. And just this past weekend, I made my first ever finals and I finished fourth. Okay, congratulations. So you're headed back to Detroit um, by the time this airs, you'll probably have already landed in Detroit. You're going to be competing in the, uh, the Junior Golds, uh, 18U. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, so Junior Gold is the tournament they run every summer. Um, and it basically just, it's a qualifying almost for the Junior Team USA. And it's like, it's the biggest event. I got about probably 1,500 kids up to 2,000 in my division. Okay. And um, so the top four after the whole qualifying, we're going to be bowling for like eight straight days, a wow. bunch of bowling. 
Um, that's who makes it onto Team USA. Man, you got some icy hot or something for that arm? Or what do you do like after you bowl that many days and that many a games? A bunch of stretching. A lot of stretching. Um, so 1,500 to 2,000 kids. I'm expecting a top 10 finish. I don't want nothing outside the top 10. You hear me? <laughs> a lot of pressure here. Um, your career goal is to be a full-time pro bowler, right? Uh, yeah, so to go professionally and probably like use my um, my advertising degree to have something outside of it and kind of okay. run it both at the same time. Because as a professional bowler, you got to make some money doing some other things I heard. Right. It's not the best paying sport. Yeah. So going into college, uh, you said you wanted to study uh, branding and advertising, right? Yes. What will you miss most about high school at the and growing up in Merritt Island? Um, well, I've lived in Merritt Island my whole life, so I'd probably say like the, the family and the tradition of the island. Everybody's kind of together. Everybody knows everybody. Yep. It's a tight-knit community. Very. Do you have one of those stickers that say, my island? I do not, <laughs> but I know that everybody does. It's, it's very tight, and that's what I love about Merritt Island, by the way, aside from the fishing. Um, what type of music do you like to listen to? I like country music. Got a favorite artist? Luke Bryan, for sure. Luke Bryan. If we had more time, I would sing a song and make him sing along with me, but we're pressed for time. Uh, what was your favorite class going to high school? Uh, definitely my math class. More, more specifically, probably my class with Mr. Widener. Mr. Widener was very funny, and I enjoyed him. He's the baseball coach there I as know, well. I know Coach Widener. Big shout-out to Coach. He's, uh, he was definitely funny. He was always making jokes, and he was, he was, he was a fun class. Okay, very good. Um, do you have a favorite food? Um, probably pizza. What kind of pizza you like? From where? Let me ask that. Well, this is going to seem very uncultured of me, but it'd probably be Domino's. Domino's? I've, is never, a I've never had original, like, a authentic pizza outside of Florida. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. Domino's, if you are listening, what's the chance this, the executives at Domino's are going to watch this? This man's going to be on a, the pro bowler circuit soon, and he's going to need some sponsors and some free pizza, right? 100%. 100%. Send this guy some pizza. Let's go. What about hobbies? When you're not bowling and you're not doing schoolwork, what do you like to do? Uh, well, I work at the golf course, Savannah's Golf Course, and uh, so I play a lot of golf. Uh, I'm on a kickball team, um, and then I also I play some poker in my free time. Okay, let's talk some kickball. How's your kickball skills? Uh, it's pretty good. I, I play first base, so I'm a lot better at catching than I am kicking. What about, okay, so you, you don't kick it real far? I, do you I, ever whiff and fall on your butt? Because a kickball's not as easy as some people may think when it's bouncing. Well, yeah, and these pit, these pitchers, uh, it's, good. It's, it's, an, it's an adult league, so these pitchers, you got, they got some heat for sure. Um, how's your golf game? I'm about a 16 handicap. My best round's a 79. I'm a big golf guy. Um, I'm not good enough to talk about it, but I love golf. You got a favorite golfer? I'd probably say Rory. I like Rory. Oh my God, he's the one I don't like. I don't know why, he just seems very pompous, but I love, Bryson DeChambeau, that's my boy. DeChambeau's good. I love Bryson. And John Rahm, John Rahm. John, um, John Rahm's caddy is a good friend of mine. Yeah. Rockledge High Boy, class of 95, Adam Hayes. Top paid caddy in the world. What's up, Adam? Uh, one more hobby, poker. Man, we got a lot of the same hobbies we like to do. Uh, tell me about poker, what do you like, I mean? I've, well, I've always played, um, like I've always played it on my phone and stuff like that, so when I turned 18 and I was able to play, I tried to give it a shot, and I've done okay, like I usually, but I just, it's a lot of fun to like sit down and you know just talk with people and just have have fun because I don't play very high limits. I can't afford it because I work at a golf course. Yeah. So I just play in the low limit games and have fun. Well, you could be a pro poker player one day. People do that. I don't suggest it, but it might work it out. It makes more than bowling. What up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't you get enough sponsors. Have you ever won a ton of money in, in one night playing poker and just um, walked away and be like, my, oh, my best sweet. night I was up about eleven hundred. That's pretty good. Have you ever lost a lot of money in one night where you I sure drive have. away and you're just like, that sucked? Yeah, I've, 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 lost probably, I've lost probably 400 in a night before. Well, your biggest night winning was better than your worst night losing. That's a good thing. That's a bonus. Um, any shout outs? Anybody who's been in your corner, supported you along the way, you just want to give them a big shout out? Um, well, first shout out is definitely to my parents and my family for like always supporting me and traveling with me as I go around the country bowling everywhere. And then also Anthony Queso, he works at the, um, in the Chips and Queso, room. I think is his yep. Instagram name. He's that cool sure dude. is. He, uh, he's been my coach. He's the only coach I've ever had since really? I was 13. Oh, big shout out to Anthony Queso, man. Um, and Working the, over there at the Merritt Island Shore yeah, Lanes. Yep. He's been there. It's, like I said, that's the only coach I've ever had. So, And then also, um, I just recently got sponsored by Cool Wick for my jerseys. So, full Cool Wick jerseys. Awesome. Well, keep up the good work, Christian. I appreciate you taking the time. I can't wait to 
hear more about all this fun stuff, poker wins, man, your golf handicap going down. But most importantly, you doing good in school and kicking butt on the bowling tournaments. Absolutely. All right. So for Christian LaCorey, formerly of the Merritt Island Mustangs, soon to be at Savannah College of Art and Design, do they have a mascot? Bees. The bees. <laughs> the, the scad the bees. The scad bee. Soon to be a scad bee. He's going to be doing up, doing big things in Savannah, Georgia. I'm Tracy Rain with 321 Sportscast. You guys have a good day.